Okay. Let's let's let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from my TV tube and today, as you can really see by the title, this video will be kind of interesting and again linked to school, I might actually just make a whole playlist or a whole series or maybe combine all the videos that I've talked about school and just plop it into like maybe a whole one hour video or so and um, yeah, so there's that and um, I know I said I was going to do perks of being tall video but I'd rather link that up with a different video so for this week's video i'm going to be doing this video of course which is did we invent maths or did we discover which personally i thought was a pretty interesting topic as well hopefully you think it's interesting too since you clicked on the video and um the video i'm going to link that up with is um sports day and uh, uh preparing for it maybe there might be a little teaser on the community tab of me rather doing the video or editing the video so uh yeah expect to see that soon and the week after this week i will be posting rather oh uh, yeah on tuesday morning i'll be posting perks of being tall and friday morning i'll be posting annoying things parents do since i really need to edit that video and um it's either I redo the video or I just roll with it and turn it into one of those matter adventure style videos where I don't show my face and I just plop a couple pictures. And uh, so there's that. And obviously, of course, I'll really appreciate it if you subscribe, comment and share and like if you enjoy my content and this video and what the two minutes, eight seconds that I've been talking. And um, yeah. I'd really appreciate it if you do those things. You'll really be helping our brother out. And um, let's get right into these pretty decently interesting questions about maths. Let's get straight into this thing. So the first question is, how did we discover it? Or did we discover it? I mean, it's a pretty interesting thing because maths has pretty much been there the whole time. Now, you might be wondering, oh, what do you mean, Matthew? Maths has been there the whole time. Yes, the concept of maths has been there the whole time, but did we really find it like that? For example, Christopher Columbus discovered America. And, I mean, the concept of maths has been there. Adding and subtracting is an, is an inevitable aspect of life. There will be an addition and subtraction of the human race, an addition and subtraction of pretty much anything really i mean like i can i uh, for example add thing add books to my book collection or i can i don't know i have a, eggs and i crush a couple of them and uh, that would be subtracting it's a pretty simple concept and it's been there but the rest we did not necessarily discover it hold up let me explain okay because we didn't necessarily discover it just like languages and words maths was invented maths was invented they invented maths to express a pre-existing concept as i just mentioned maths was invented to express the concept of that addition and subtraction if we did not really invent it then the concept would just be there but the actual thing will not necessarily be as it is, if you know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, if we invented it and we didn't discover it, this is the same question, if you're asking, if we invented it and didn't discover it, then why did we invent it? Like, it's just there. Like, is it just there for their sake or did we invent it for a specific reason? Now, yes, we did we invented it for a specific reason and that reason is yes these hand movements you know they're going to turn into Naruto Jutsus and it's 
Uh, I pretty much answered this question already, to be honest. We, we invented it to express a pre-existing concept. Now, i.e., it's the law of physics, necessarily. You have simple equations that are pretty much inevitable, i.e., subtraction and addition. It's really that simple. We invented maths to express something that's already pre-existing. Now, I hope that answered both of these questions because I'm moving on to the third question. This has been pretty quick. I mean, it's been six minutes I've been talking and, of course, the intro will be a little bit longer or make it a little, a little bit longer, but I've gone through this pretty quickly, to be honest. Not quicker than my other videos. But let's keep this snapping then. Third question. And that question is, why, why is this so important? I mean, like, right now, this is 2021, we have calculators. Why is it necessarily so important? This is a pretty simple question and it can be answered by literally anyone. It's so important due to the fact it, 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 it combines with our day-to-day, -day, everyday life, lives. Now, we have, we, we can go to a shop and we buy something. We need maths to determine how much that thing that we're buying is. And if we are buying more than one item, then we need addition to know what the sum amount of that is. But the rest or well, what what do we need these letters in maths for now personally i mean i'm not going to go to a store and then i'm going to ask the person at the till yes if the a okay <laughs> no wait, wait, wait okay i had a really good thing for this <laughs> yeah subtract Like, you don't say, oh, the squared amount of this pineapple divided by the concept of the entirety of the store times by all of the pineapples divided by that one apple in the corner. Subtract the one chocolate bar over there and find the ratio of the store. And then that'll be the price of this little key chain. No, no, no. It's literally just, yeah, this key chain is 30p there. And, and that's it. That is literally it. Everything else, I'm not 100% sure why it's necessary, but there are some things that could be useful. We, we're just learning it, to be honest. We, we know all of this stuff about maths, in like ratio, percentages, percentages, we actually need that, yeah. But there's just some things like uh, A squared, B squared, all that, all that stuff. We learn all of that, but we don't learn how to do our taxes or anything about mortgages or anything about that or like when you're older and you want to buy a house or you want to sell a house or we need to pay your rent we don't necessarily learn anything about that but we know all of these maths equations and everything personally i just feel like it's not necessary and it's not the thing that we need to learn or it's the most significant in our life that we need to learn not necessarily a waste of time of course it's great having this knowledge but it's not necessarily what we are going to be doing in the future i could say the exact same thing for art and french but i mean they're pretty interesting subjects either way fourth wait no <laughs> i barely even answered the third question what do we necessarily need it for now it's quite simple again really now maths also it also develops our reasoning skills and that is a pretty it, it's a great thing to have you you need to have reason you need to you need a developed reasoning skills like you need to be able to reason quickly and it also helps with analytical thinking that's another thing that we need now maths it helps it really does but there's some aspects of maths that are quite insignificant i'll get to that in the fourth question but the other uses for maths i've already stated two and i'll have to state two more and then i'll move on to the fourth question it quickens our mind and it also helps with the problem solving skills those are great aspects to have in life you need those two things in life but the thing is if it's so important and we need all those things then why do 
kids or even teenagers, including me, well, I do I find it kind of boring now. Anyways, why why do we find it boring? When I was younger, I used to love maths. Like it used to be my favorite, my fa favorite, favorite subject in the entirety of school. Every time there was a math lesson, I was like, oh yes, let's go. But now I'm like, oh crap, we have maths fifth period. Why? Why, why, why can't we just have something else? And I, I always get upset when there's, you know, really upset. Just get, ah, oh, crap, there's maths. Like, I don't even know why, but sometimes it just happens. When I was younger, I just genuinely used to love maths. But now, eh, just changed, really. Now, why do we necessarily find it as boring as we do? And it's important, but we find it boring and not as interesting as we necessarily should. Now, it, of course, obviously, it depends on the person. Some people I know, they love maths even now, and some people, they just, they can't even be bothered to write anything in their maths book. But the thing is, it's, if it's often abstract, and it doesn't really relate to kids, to what kids do nowadays on a day-to-day, -day, daily basis, now things we have video games we have we have books i mean i mean we, we have I mean, books um many day-to-day -day things now but the thing is with all these things that we have maths doesn't necessarily relate to it making us find it quite boring now again why do we necessarily even need to of course the basics we need to know the basics a minimal the basics but everything else, why? I mean, we have Google and calculators for that. Obviously, you can't, right, just... We need, of course, the important bits that make maths so great. For example, the fact that it quickens our thinking, it helps out, it just amplifies our problem-solving skills. It helps with all those things, and that's a great aspect to have. But the thing is, we already have things like calculators in this nowadays society. Society? Why did I say society? Society. We already have things like that, that pretty much solves the maths for us. We all we have to do is whip out our calculators and do, 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 do what's uh, this equation, and then they will just tell us the answer. We don't even need a calculator. We can just ask Google. It can literally answer pretty much every math question that there is. So, why do we need to learn it? That's still a question for me, but right now my, my, my brain is just... I'm literally asking this question to myself and I don't necessarily know the answer. Why do we need to know all this stuff? But the answer is already there. It's something quite insignificant, really. It, maths is becoming insignificant due to the fact that we don't need to know the answers ourselves when the answer is already there on Google. But obviously, we still need to know the basics and the skills that maths helps us acquire is needed in our day-to-day -day lives. So we do need maths. Either way. Yeah, we really do need maths. And it does help. Fifth question. This is for you guys. Hopefully, I'd like to see an answer for this in the comments. I will really appreciate that. Now, the question is, is it true mathematics is a universal language? What are your thoughts? Now, of course, I now do this in my videos. In conclusion, what did we learn? I really don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you actually learned something instead of me making that sarcastic comment at the end. And I'll see you in the next video and that video will be posted Friday morning and it will be exceedingly interesting. A little teaser trailer, I'll be talking about how much of a couch potato I have become over the years. And I barely practice for sports day. When I do, I just collapse on the floor. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in that video. It will be a lot of comedic scenes. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. 
I will see you in the next video. Peace. Also, don't forget, the Boondocks is a great anime and I suggest that. I know it's random, but yeah, it's one of the only animes that I know with an uh, African main character. And that, uh, that's new. Okay, peace. I really suggest that anime. And uh, if you have time, please watch it.